Hi coaches, Ron Silico here. What I wanted to talk about today was the five-man open post and the cutting basics, which are the foundation of the offense. So as you can see, we fill five spots around the perimeter, each corner position, each wing position, and the point position. I want to make note that we do want to use the three-point line for spacing as much as possible, and we also have good distance between each player on the court. General rule of spacing is that you don't want to have one defensive player able to guard two offensive players. The basics of the cutting is this. Whenever a cut happens from the point position, the opposite corner is filled from where the ball was passed to. So the pass is made to the right wing. The point is going to cut all the way to the X spot underneath the basket and then fill the opposite spot. The reason that happens is because we've got this wing position that is now going to be filling the point position and then our corner position which fills the wing position. It's a consistent series of replacing different spots that are open on the perimeter. So again, point position, passes it to the wing, basket cut, and then fill the opposite corner from where they pass the ball. Now I'm going to reverse it. First scenario, the ball is on the wing and then gets passed to the point. The cut is a basket cut and then replace yourself in the same corner of the side of the floor that you just came from. And again, the reason for that is we've got this corner position that's coming up and is now filling that wing position. So wing, whenever they make a pass, basket cut, and then fill the same side corner. Now a little twist to this, and you can do it a couple different ways. It just really depends on what this corner player does. Let's say the pass goes from the wing to the corner. Well, if that corner person doesn't vacate that position, there's really nothing to cut to. So there's two things that can happen. This corner position could then dribble up, and that creates an opportunity to fill that spot. Or we have a situation where the perimeters just rotate to fill the spots that way. And then that wing person could go to the other side of the corner. Uh, and then the last basic cut of the offense is if our corner man makes a pass to the wing, they cut to the X spot. There's really nowhere else to go to, all the other spots are filled. So corner basically just replaces themselves. So corner positions, basket cut, and they replace themselves. It's important to teach your players to make hard, straight basket cuts. We don't want banana cuts, we don't want loop cuts, we want hard, direct basket cuts. And that's very important. We also want to teach your players to change speeds, chop their feet, fast, slow, fast, slow, explode. We want to get basket cuts. Good basket cuts are, are going to open up things in the offense. Something that we tell players whenever there's confusion, when in doubt, empty out. So if you're under the basket and you don't know where to go, find a spot on the perimeter that's open and then get out. We want to keep the basket area open for drives and dribble penetration. Another thing that's important in terms of teaching players how to cut is when the defense is overplayed in the passing lane, so if they've stepped out, let's say the ball's here, and the defender's in the passing lane, we need the players to basket cut. That's a general rule. And that's something that's hard to teach players that when they're overplayed, don't fight the pressure, cut to the basket hard. Last thing I want to talk about in this video are the X spots, and those are very important. First X is generally right under the basket. You want to teach your players to, when they basket cut, to make the hard straight line cuts all the way to the basket before they empty back out to the perimeter. Look for the ball, have your inside hand closest to the basket out so the passer has a target. But make hard straight basket cuts all the way to the basket. I've seen where defensive teams will be be with the cut two-thirds of the way to the basket, and then they try and find the ball. They turn their head again. And then if the player is cut all the way to the basket, that's oftentimes where they'll end up getting the pass. So that's important. 
Uh, second X spot that's important is at the foul line. And as you've seen West Virginia over the years, Bob Huggins teams using the open post offense, they get a lot of basket cuts out of this area. So generally what happens is the ball go, goes from the point to the wing, point cuts, fills the opposite corner. Well, now that we need this wing person to replace the point position, but we don't want them just filling up this way. That's too easy to defend. What we want is a hard cut right to the middle of the foul line. And then we make a read and react decision based on where the defense is playing. If the defense has overplayed us in the passing lane, we want that offensive player to make a hard basket cut right to the basket. If the defense is kind of slacked off below the foul line, change speeds, chop feet, right in the middle of the foul line, and then come back out for a reverse pass at the point. So those are the X spots, and those, those are very important that you get to with basket cuts on the basket and then making that cut to the foul line and then either breaking to the basket or popping back out for a reversal. So those are the basic cuts within the five-man open post offense.